some more information on the CZU complex fire. Tonight, more than 77,000 people are out of their homes and under mandatory evacuation orders. Now, we're expecting an update on this fire in just about one hour. This is uh, the latest numbers that we have right now. Flames have scorched 79,000 acres, uh, destroyed 330 structures. The fire is 17% contained. This fire also deadly, killing one person. Seven others remain missing. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Fravro is in Scotts Valley tonight with the latest on the fight to save lives and save homes. Marianne. Well, James Hagen of Brookdale saw news reports showing his neighbor's house on fire, but he had no idea what had happened to his own home, and he still wasn't allowed back in. So today he asked if we could go check on his home for him. An inferno descending on Clear Creek Road above the Brookdale Lodge. This is the video James Hagen watched on TV. It showed a neighbor's home burning and left him wondering what happened to his home. That's the, the worst part about of this whole thing is not knowing what your proper, what's happening with your property. Because we're allowed to be much closer to the fire lines, he asked us to check on his home. What we found was devastation. Multiple houses gone. Including Hagen's hillside home. 20 years of, of my time that I spent building my house and property into what it was and just remembering how beautiful it was. The fire destroyed his son's car and every inch of the 1,500 square foot home. This demonstrates the randomness of the fire. This home was destroyed, yet the one behind it, just a few yards away, was spared. Hagen says his family escaped with just a few items computers because they have pictures on them and stuff like that and got my money and uh, the cats and a couple little heirlooms. Hagen says he remembers the 58 steps he climbed every day to reach his front door and the graduation party he hosted for his daughter here. But as he mourns the loss of his home, he is also grateful for what he didn't lose. The cats are out and everybody's alive and that's what really matters. That's the important thing. And he's relieved to finally have answers. I'm fortunate right now that you were able to let us know, you know, because I bet there's thousands of people right now wondering what happened to their house. Fortunately, James says he has insurance and he does plan to rebuild. Now, this is not the first time that his family has been displaced. About seven years ago, a huge tree fell in their living room and they had to move out for six months. Reporting live in Scotts Valley, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area.